Hey guys, it's going on to an incredible space program today, and I'm gonna show you guys how to get into orbit. Okay, so let's uh, go and build ourselves a ship. Okay, so you wanna get a command pod at MK1 first. Uh, we're gonna make this about this tall, probably. Yeah, right there. So kind of like as tall as this thing right there. Uh, maybe like a water tower, I don't know what it is. Okay, uh, then you wanna get a FLT 400 fuel tank. Place that down. And then go to control and grab yourself an advanced SAS module. Go back to propulsion. Add a FLT R25 RCS fuel tank. Plop that on there. Go back to control again and get the RCS thruster block. And then come down here to symmetry mode and click it four times to go forward and put it right about there. So what this will do, uh, this is the fuel tank for these. <coughs> and what they would do is if you hit R when you're in orbit, uh, not in orbit, when you're trying to get in orbit, it will help you move, uh, maneuver your way around uh, easier. Uh, so yeah. Then you wanna go back to uh, propulsion and get yourself a liquid fuel, fuel uh, engine, 11909, LV909. So that's what it should look like so far. Then go to structural and go down and get the TR18A stack decoupler and place that right on the bottom of the engine. So what this will happen is after our main engine, which we haven't set up yet, it uh, runs out of fuel. This will disconnect the main engine here and it will ignition this engine. Okay, so then we're, uh, you want to come here to propulsion again and grab yourself two of um, these right here, the FLT 800 fuel tanks. Put two of those down. Okay, <coughs> go back to structural and get to these uh, TT70 radial uh, decoupler. What they are, they're basically decouplers like this, but you can just put them on the side of your rockets. And put four of them, like right there, just like that. Uh, come back to propulsion and get uh, FLT 800 fuel tanks again and make sure you still have it on symmetry uh, four mode and place it on this decoupler until it turns green. You may have to move up to other decouplers. Um, let's see if we can go in. Sometimes it doesn't let you, but just keep trying. So I'll be right back when I try to get this, because for some reason it's not liking me. Oh, no, that's not on the, oh, there we go. Okay, so we have that, and then uh, get yourself the LVT45 liquid fuel engines. Place those suckers down like that. So this is basically our propulsion stage, which will let us get up into uh, the upper atmosphere. Okay, so um, let's see what this one looks like. Uh, so then, uh, get a um, LV230 liquid fuel uh, engine and place it on the bottom there. Now just for an extra propulsion, we'll add two of these solid fuel boosters on the bottom here. Um, we don't need four of them, uh, but we do want to put another two decouplers on. I think we'll just add two of them. Make sure you don't put them uh, Make sure you don't put them actually under these engines because they'll like explode. So just put them like that and go back and get them. And these will definitely help you um, uh, get up into the atmosphere. Okay. So, um, actually we'll add four of these just to make sure that we're totally good. Okay, okay, there we go. Now this should definitely be enough. Uh, so come back to structural and go to the next page and get to these strut connectors and place, uh, you can have the uh, uh, symmetry still on four, uh, place it on top and drag it to the top there. This will just make it so it's a little more stable and such like that. Go back to rubble propulsion and get yourself a external uh, a fuel duct and keep the symmetry on four and just drag it to this middle oh god uh 
drag it to this middle fuel tank right here. If I can get it. Oh well. Okay, it's good to get it. Ah. Oh, I don't know if that would work. Um, let's just try to reconnect this. Of course, we get it right at the top. Okay, uh, let's see here. I think now. Okay, well, we can't seem to get this. Uh, no! Okay, well, oh, wait, wait, let's just place it right there. Yes, um. Uh, can't see where I'm how far away I am from this. There we go. What? There. And it didn't place it on four sides for some reason. Weird. Okay, so I guess we'll just go around and place it one by one. So I'll be back uh, when you're doing that. Make sure it comes from this fuel tank to that fuel tank. And then I'll tell you what it does after you're done with that. Okay, so I ended up guiding it right here, but this is what it should look like uh, if you did it correctly. Um, okay, so basically what happens when you connect it to this fuel tank, what will happen is it's taking fuel from this fuel tank and actually giving it to these uh, fuel tanks here. So after you disconnect these, this will once again have full fuel. So what you can actually do is you can burn all f all of these uh, all these engines at the same time and then let go of them and. Uh, once you let go of these, this will once, uh, and then start up the engine again, this will have full fuel again. Okay. So, uh, we're basically ready to go here. Um, actually, come down I want to put some nose cones on these. So, just, I always forget where the nose cones are. Here they are. The standard size, that's too small. How are these do? Those are do good. So that just to make it look good and stuff. It should just like that. And yep. Yeah. So, uh, let's see, we got everything. Yeah, looks like we have everything. Oh no, my bad, we have to do staging here in a sec quick. This will only take a minute. Okay, so you want, is this one separate? Oh, that's good that these are all separate. Okay, so we want all these to go at the same exact time. These four to go. And we also want that one to go at the same time. Let's see if these are all correct. So I'm guessing that these were run out first. Okay. So all these going at the same time. These will fall off next. And then, and then this will go, and then we have that inch go. Okay, so everything's ready to go. Uh, I just named this like Orbit Vehicle or something. I was gonna name it Orbit, and I'm gonna save it, and we'll head over to the launch pad. Okay, really quick though, before you go to the launch pad, I was thinking that all the pressure on this one thruster will just blow up. So come back uh, to structural, and just get these stabilizers. And I wanna so put the summary mode to two, or four, I guess that happens. Um, uh, I guess we'll just have it like that and save that again, set over. Okay, so here we are at the launch pad. Uh, hit T to turn on your stabilizer, and we're gonna full thrust for about the first uh, kilometer, and then we're gonna bring it down to half throttle. Okay, so let's go. When you're ready to go, hit space. Here we go.
to do a gravity turn at 10,000 feet. Uh, I don't really, I'm um, 10,000 feet, uh, 10 kilometers, but I don't like to do that. Basically, the gravity turn is, is you turn right here, about right now, uh, towards the ocean. But I just like to go straight up. Okay, so you want to come here, hit map, and you want to come here, and once, once this gets, uh, your apoapsis gets to about 100 to 130, hit X, uh, and that will basically totally stop you from uh, all your thrusters, and we'll go from there. So these thrusters are about to run out. Let's just see if we can keep this one thruster going. So uh, let's, try, let's try to keep that one thruster going. Oh yeah, well it's like all of them right now. And anyway, you see, I once again have full fuel. Uh, so we're just gonna full thrust it right now. Okay. So everything's good. We're still straight, which is pretty awesome. And you're halfway getting into orbit, basically now. At halfway up, 50. Uh -huh. Okay. So we're we're just gonna stop at 100. Um, make sure your apoapsis keeps kind of straight like this, because if it's on a like a slant or something like that, then your uh, orbit will just kind of be like going this, uh, I don't know if you can see my mouse, but I'll just uh, kind of try to show you. Okay, so how are we doing on fuel? We don't even, wait a minute, I don't even need this upper stage. Um, but I just put it there just in case. And we'll just give it up to about 110 will do. And hit X, and there we go. So uh, now what you wanna do is you wanna come here to the Apoapsis, left click, uh, and click add maneuver. Now you wanna pull on this green thing here that's called the prograde and don't, oh God, don't mix it up. Uh, so it's called the prograde and I'm gonna go under the uh, curbin uh, so I can pull this prograde here and I can see what I'm doing. So there we go, we got actually a pretty good uh, orbit here. Okay, so you see we want the periapsis here to be above 70, nothing below 70 or else you fall back into uh, the atmosphere of curbin. Okay, so now that we got all that done, turn off your stabilizer ST and turn on RCS with R. Okay, so now what you're looking for is you're looking for this little blue thing. Let's, uh, let's try to find it here. Blue thing, come on, come on, wherever you are. There it is. Okay, so it looks like this and get it basically somewhere around this blue dot. You don't want it totally out of blue, um, but try to get it right in the middle of this blue dot. And I'll just get it there and hit T. So now it, I see it says node in T minus and then 50 seconds, 49 seconds. And then here's an, a rough estimate how long you'll have to burn the engines for. So here it says a minute 49. Okay, so uh, you wanna about burn a, about in about, uh, about 30 seconds before it says uh, zero. So that would be right about now. And we're just gonna full thrust and since this is a rough estimate, we don't really want to go by that, so we're gonna go to M, and we're gonna pull this our uh, pro our uh, ma mini map, I guess you could call it, up, uh, and we'll watch this blue thing because this is our actual orbit, not this. Um, so we'll watch this to make sure everything's going good, and yeah. So basically, right now, just kind of wait. I won't fast forward on anything because I'm showing you how to do it. And don't worry, really, if this is uh, your first time getting into orbit and like this one side is like all the way out here, like really far away from the planet, because I think I may have a way to, f I know I have like a pretty cool way how to fix that uh, once you actually get into orbit. Okay, so it says about 17 seconds left. Uh, and that's just because as you can see right now, and there goes our stage. So we're gonna hit space, space again, and there goes our next stage. Uh, it's because when we go around here, it actually starts moving a lot faster. So everything seems to be going good. I think we'll have a pretty good orbit. It may go a little far out uh, of this line uh, right here, but you never know.
think it'll be pretty good actually. And hit X. There you are, you're in an orbit. That's all it is. Uh, so you see now I'm in an orbit and so this is a little uh, farther than we want it. So we want to get near the periapsis here. Uh, this is good enough right here. And what you want to do is turn off your stabilizer. You don't even need that anymore. And turn on RCS again. And we can st just stay in the map. And you want to go find this uh, right here. Basically, it's the little circle with it and an X in it. And then just get it into it and then turn on stabilizer if you want. I'll just show you that you can and I'll hit T here. Let it stabilize. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna burn very, very slowly and this will actually start to come, uh, pull in. Now make sure this doesn't go too low, like I said, below 70. But you can just kind of pull this in. Let's see how this does. So you can pull that in. Uh, right there is kind of good. Is that good? Yeah, we got a pretty good orbit here. And yeah, you're in an orbit. And I'll just show you, I see. Uh, warp faster for you and I'll show you they can go all the way around so it's pretty dang good and that is how you get into orbit guys please rate comment and subscribe and if you liked if this video uh, helped you just leave a comment and I'll probably show you guys how to get to uh, the moon or uh, Minmus and after that I'll try I'll show you guys how to get to like uh, Duna and stuff like this, uh, like uh, outer planets. I just got to Duna today, actually, so I'm kind of happy about that. This is not the ship that I use, so you're gonna need a lot bigger ship with uh, more fuel on it. But yeah, so you see, I just went around in a full orbit around the Earth. I mean, Kerbin, not the Earth. Uh, and that is how you guys. That is uh, it. See ya.